hello there welcome back to my channel Juella or if you're new here then welcome to my channel as you can tell by the title pretty exciting stuff for me today guys this is my very first P Louise budget box so for those of you who don't know what is the P Louise budget box it is a monthly beauty box where you'll predominantly get makeup I think with the very odd skincare item and obviously makeup brushes tools in there as well but yeah, I saw my lovely friend Chantelle unbox several of these and I got a little bit hooked guys and I just had to sign myself up. I really didn't know what to expect because it's entirely different products every single month. But yeah, I'm so pleased that I signed up. Anyway, so this is July's budget box, which might seem a bit weird uploading it at the beginning of August. However, this is how it works. So basically, if you sign up today, you will get August's budget box and you'll get it at the beginning of September. That's how the work, that's the post the items out, the boxes out at the end of a calendar month. So yeah, that's how it works. This is the July box. I signed up for it last month. I did kind of, after I'd signed up, I was told a little sneak peek of what could be in. And yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Absolutely mind blown. Anyway, cost is £30 a month and I think it's £1 postage. I'm sure I paid 31 I could be wrong on that though. It might just be 30 Sorry, I should really have my bank details handy to have a check on my account. But it was £30 for the box and amazing. Absolutely amazing. So it arrived today, guys, and it's only the 1st of August. I was absolutely gobsmacked to get it today. So this arrived today. Quite a bloody big box, if you ask me and kind of heavy as well. So what I'll do is I'll take the items out then pop the box on the floor. This month there's only three items in but one of the items as you're going to see is pretty blooming big <laughs> and the other items are actually pretty small. So let's just go through what we got. You don't get a leaflet or anything but look how beautiful the packaging is, the boxes. And I must say the main item in here which I'm going to show you first the way it's packaged there is no way that you will get this damaged at least touch wood nobody will get it damaged look how well packaged that is it's an eyeshadow palette by the way but yeah amazingly packaged there's no way this is getting any damage so i have ordered a few bits from p louise i got one of them about a week ago and i'm currently waiting on the other things because i ordered like two different lots one of them I ordered on TikTok and one on the Pay Louise site because on TikTok when they go live they do some amazing deals which I literally just watched on Saturday and today is Monday. So yeah, I'm currently waiting for those little bits but it's not loads. So I'll just do the, the little bits that I bought in a haul at some point but not with this budget box because then you'll get confused, right? Anyway, so there's more bubble wrap on the eyeshadow palette. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic packaging because yeah it's not getting wrecked guys so this is the palette and it's a brand new one called the money shot now what i've been told is if you sign up for the budget boxes you do sometimes get these items pretty much guaranteed to you just before they come out on release on the website or around about the same time anyway this actually went live on saturday and i've received it today absolutely amazing it's a huge palette but i must say if you are not a fan of green, then you won't like it because it's a lot of greens, but the packaging on this is just stunning. Now, I've already opened it this morning because I wasn't planning on doing any videos today, actually. I really quickly got myself ready. Dry shampoo to the rescue. My hair's a bit of a mess. It's all piled up on the top like Luby Lou, but anyway. So yeah, this is the Money Shop palette, guys. It's just so, so pretty how stunning how pretty is this i mean i don't know how well you can see it because i have got my new ring light but still i don't know how well you can see it but it's absolutely gorgeous the top's got like kind of little move about cardboard bits in anyway it's beautiful and it's actually two layers so you've got one layer on the top and then a pulley out drawer i don't know if you can see that as well but you've got a little tab here to pull out so you've got two different layers so let's get this opened Honestly, it's just so, so stunning. But like I say, if you do not like green, you won't like it. Green doesn't suit every single eye colour. 
luckily for me my eyes are browny hazily green coloured which I know sounds quite crazy when the light shines on them you'd think they were like more of a greeny hazel and other times people will say you've got brown eyes haven't you Julie no I haven't I've got hazel so anyway I'm hoping these colours are going to do my eyes justice now there's no way of showing you this without you seeing the mirror as well I don't think so I'm just going to try although yes there is so that's the first lot of greens guys now I would bring it up to the camera but I don't know how well you're going to see it so hopefully you're seeing those colours all right there. There's some fantastic mattes, obviously dark to one side, lighter to the other with a couple of shimmers as well. I was a bit frightened, I'm not going to lie, I was a bit frightened that it was going to be clown green as in something that I wouldn't use because I'm not very daring with my colours. But then when I saw this second pull out drawer it won us over it's absolutely won us over just going to take the little protective cover off look at these colors i'm going to show you them back here then i'll bring them up to the camera these are more my tone they're more earthy tones with a little pop of like yellowy lime greens as well absolutely stunning i absolutely love this now did i need any more eyeshadow palettes obviously not guys i don't know how well you're saying that my ring light's gone really dark, just bear with us guys. Yeah, my ring light's gone really dark. Anyway, I don't know how well you've seen those there. But these colours, you get all of these eyeshadows. £30 for the box, plus I've got another two items. This palette, if you were to buy it from the P. Louise website, costs you £47. as a little fly in front of my camera. Bye bye, Mr. Fly. Anyway, this palette will cost you 47 quid. £47 for this palette. I don't think I'll pay £47 for like one colour story of like sort of greens and earthy kind of khaki colours but oh, I cannot wait to play about with them. Eek, this fly. Must fancy the eyeshadows. Anyway, so yeah, amazing, absolutely amazing value and like I say I've got another two items. Now I am going to do a video with some swatches in but I'll just quickly show you one or two swatch swatches today because I've got my baby wipe ready so... I can do that but I don't know what colours to go in with so yeah I think I'll just have to do a mixture so we'll go with a matte green then we'll go with another matte green from here as well and a couple of shimmers because yeah why not <laughs> so I've got four greens from the top set here which I'm going to show you oh my god these are beautiful one of them hasn't come up quite as well, but it's probably because I've got hand cream on. Anyway, I don't know how well you can see those, but they're beautiful. Absolutely lovely. So, I'm hoping my ring light's going to let us show you them, guys. As you can see, they're quite yellowy toned, some of them, the shimmers. Like goldy yellowy shimmers. I definitely love those. Really super, super pretty. So let's go in with the second little pull out drawer and choose four of these colours and I don't know which ones to choose. I'm probably going to end up choosing very similar ones again. Let's go for that one, that one. I'm basically just going for some mattes and then I'll go in with one shimmer as well. I'll just do them underneath so these might look a little bit samey actually but hopefully you're going to see them. I don't know if you can see them back there probably not in fact I'm just going to turn my ring light up I don't know if that will help probably going to make my face look like Casper the ghost but hey ho hopefully you can see the eyeshadows so this bottom row here is the second lot I've done how stunning are they they are absolutely gorgeous I'm absolutely loving the colors on those the pigmentation is amazing it's fabulous now let's just turn this ring light down because, yeah, I do look a little bit like Casper, don't I? Oh, I've just turned it off. <laughs> That's quite funny. Let's just turn this ring light down. So Julie turns it off. Whoa. And that's far too bright. Let's just get it right. <laughs> That'll be a good one for the blooper show. Anyway, so yeah, that is the palette. Absolutely amazing. So, so pretty. So thrilled with it, guys. I'm just going to stick the protective colour back on cover sorry not colour but yeah so the bottom pull out drawer is more earthy wearable tones in my opinion so you've got your darker shades like a little bit of khaki brown almost just gonna see if I can get this back in 
The protective cover, of course, doesn't want to stay on. So do you know what? I'm just going to keep that off for now. So yeah, pop the drawer back in and then pop the protective cover back on the top of these ones. So yeah, absolutely stunning. So, so pretty. Like I say, when I was, before I got this, I was dubious thinking, am I going to wear these colours? I'm not so adventurous with my eyeshadow colours now that I'm approaching 40, which I know is no excuse because it doesn't matter how old you are, you're as old as you feel. In that case, I'm 76. But anyway, no, seriously, it doesn't matter how old you are. Have fun with your makeup, ladies. It's just I haven't got fantastic eyes to do eye looks on because they're quite hooded. But that's probably because I'm fat. But no, they're quite hooded. Ooh, got eyeshadow all the way up my arm. Seriously, be careful if you do swatches, guys, because they're quite pigmented. And I did actually swatch two of them earlier when I got them. And it did take a bit of scrubbing to get them off. Anyway, so the other two products, let's show you what I got. We also got an eyeshadow brush. I think everybody gets the same, by the way. If you've got July's box on its way, you'll get the exact same palette. And this is an eyeshadow blending brush. The number is 117, I believe. So it's a really nice blending brush. I love my brushes. Absolutely love them. This is the first P. Louise brush I've got. And this is the second P. Louise palette. I do have another one, but I will show you it in a haul. Haven't even swatched it yet, actually. So anyway, this is fantastic for blending. I would say just along the sort of crease area, along the socket. That's probably what I would use that for, for smudging and like blending on the crease. But yeah, that's a 117 brush. I'm just going to double check. Yeah, I think that says 117. Tiny little writing on it, like. And then the third and final item, I believe you can get any shade of green base paint. So this base paint is a liquid eyeshadow, but it's like a base. So you can put other colours on top of it. Now at first when I looked at this I thought oh my god I've been given a really dark shade I was hoping for a lighter one but you know what it's different I'm going to tell you it's different I did have a little squirt of it on my hand earlier it's more blue than green it's more of a teal so this is called nitro the color just if you wanted to look it up on the website this is called nitro and it's like a teal color hope I've got my ring light back all right there I'm looking a bit bright anyway so this is nitro a little bit goes a long way as well like I just can't believe how pigmented these are so I'm just going to get a little bit out squeeze a little bit out they're a little bit dicey I don't know if you're supposed to get it out with your fingers or with a brush I don't really know but it's literally I don't know if you can see that it's bright teal it really is quite bright I'll put it here on my hand because yeah a tiny bit really does go a long way wait till you say that it's gonna look quite green on camera but i'm gonna turn my ring light down because it's making it look lighter than it is it's not actually all that light so i'll bring my hand up to the camera and let's hope you can see the true color of this i don't know if you can i don't know if it let us focus but this is the paint here that the base paint it's more of a blue when you look at it comparing it to the greens it's definitely more of like a teal mermaid blue, but I still love it. I think it's fabulous. So I'm definitely looking forward to playing about with it. I've never had any of the base kind of paints. At least I think that's what it is. I'm just going to read what it says, if I could read what it says, but naturally I can't. I think it's something rain, something rain. But anyway, the colour's nitro. Very, very different. I've got nothing like this. Acid rain, that's what it's called. If you've got these kind of collection by P. Louise, which I know my lovely friend Chantel has, please tell me, is, is this a base that you put other colours on top? Or do you actually just wear the colour and then just do what you want with it and add others and stuff? But yeah, please let us know because I've never used it. And I've always wanted to try a few of the P. Louise goodies. So yeah, let's just pop my ring light back up because that's a little bit too dark. And now I'm a little bit too bright. I kind of seem to get it just right like Baby Bear, can I? Anyway, so the three items in last month, not this month, last month's subscription box, the budget box for P. Louise, we have got the Money Shop palette, which is all predominantly greens, but look how beautiful those greens are. There's no denying the pigmentation is beautiful. I can't wait to play about with them and see what I think. How often am I going to use the palette? Probably not that often, but I'm definitely keeping it. Absolutely keeping it. 
and if you were on tiktok at the weekend i think this was up for 25 pounds or 26 pounds which is a definite bargain from 47 anyway so it's part of this box for july so we've got the money shop palette and i think that's got 42 pans in amazing we've got the wet base the the nitro colored one which is like a bluey teal and the blending brush the eyeshadow blending brush in a way i was a little bit kind of underwhelmed that there was only three items in the box but when you add the value of that up it's probably around the 60 pound mark based on rrp and you can't grumble for 30 pounds if you're getting double your money so you really can't grumble sorry i'm just trying to get this paint off my finger i look like i've got a dead man's finger anyway so yeah i'm sure i'm gonna have fun trying to scrub these off my hand in a minute but let me know if you got the july budget box by p louise it's a mouthful to say it's a tongue twister for me i can see it's slipping up quite a bit trying to say it but hey ho i just wanted to share it with you guys because i'm not going to get the chance later this week or in the next couple of days i've got lots going on i'm full of busy and i just wanted to share it with you and we're up at the beginning of august now so the beauty boxes are going to be rolling in this week and next week hopefully and hopefully i'll share them with you as soon as i can but this is the p louise budget box for july let me know if you're signed up let us know what you think next month's i am staying dipped in well i say next month it's this month august box i'm going to stay dipped in because apparently the clue that Paige gave us was bridal which tells me neutrals peachy pinks those type of tones and i don't know if there'll be a palette cheek lip whatever i really don't know but i'm going to stay dipped in for august's and then see what I think because this is sort of higher end for me, £30 a month. I don't mind spending £10, £15 a month on beauty boxes, but £30 a month, do I need this much makeup every month for 12 months of the year? Probably not, is the simple answer to that. So I'll stay dipped in for this month for August. I'll get it at the beginning of September and show you what we'll get. Other than that, I'm not too sure after that. I might just kind of dip out for a bit and then just yeah see how i go guys because as you know i've got a quite a big collection going and i don't need everything do i surely anyway right let us know what you think guys thank you so much for watching and sorry about the little technical blip with the ring light absolutely hilarious but hey ho i'm leaving it all in anyway take care and bye for now